Well, hey everybody. Well, I can show you a beautiful blue sky today. That's about it. And say praise the Lord and Jesus is coming as I'm supposed to be out here encouraging you. Wow, it's been a rough couple weeks and I need to share. I've got so much. Obviously, you must know that, right? So I'm sharing that beautiful blue sky, but it's not been that way even though we are under an allergy or air quality alert day that's it level orange been that way all week all right so it started like last week on a sunday with um my goodness it was so hot that day i think brother chad put out a video and our winds were like so hot as well and that was so abnormal now this is global it's everywhere there's weather chaos everywhere things are happening people are being conditioned we know what's happening out there, but there's no fear of Jesus, and we're focusing on heavenly things. Absolutely, Jesus is coming. Let me encourage you. Spoiler, by the way. So, I'm going to share a few things with you, and uh, first I'll start with the Watchmen information. So, sometime this week, <laughs> I can't date dates exactly this past week, um, there came out something urgent that said that apparently we pay Israel a billion dollars a year to help with the Iron Dome and their military over there and keep them safe. This is an agreement that happened a long time ago and we were going to break it y'all. This is no joke. I thought lightning bolts were going to come down from the sky. Literally. First time ever. And we all are ambassadors for Christ, right? But I didn't know that Amir was an ambassador for Israel as well. And so he just happened to be at the right place at the right time. What a mighty God we serve. This happened to be going to Virginia for the loss of the conferences in the United States. So he was able to go and rectify the situation. And somehow, uh, on the Democratic side, I think if I named a few names, you would know, um, who had plucked this out of the bill uh, had to put it back in and that was rectified but at the same time they also found out that in the base over there in Afghanistan that was controlled by the Americans that is now controlled by the Taliban was also and is also controlled also by the Chinese who has all of our weapons as well and they're playing games over there okay so surprise now, there's also breaking news as of yesterday when Turkey found out that Syria um, was being taken care of very well by the Americans as far as money and ammunition weapons were concerned. Wow, this is a lot, and this is all prophetic. This is all happening. Uh, Israel is surrounded, literally, um, definitely not protected nor does it even show that we're on her side anymore. I mean, that just has to put some distrust in there for sure. I saw a mirror in a different light this weekend with, or last weekend, whenever it was, uh, seeing him in a personal note as I saw him before, you know, just preaching before. Um, he's pretty entertaining as well as all the speakers that were there, so I do have a lot to share. Well, one thing that was pretty wild <laughs> this is so good and we know that God is good and he's so good all the time and he works all things together for his good remember this is all about Jesus this is his story for his glory <laughs> this is crazy okay so a few weeks before when I had made the decision to go to this convention I mean it's, this is something that I normally do um my goodness, all heck seemed to break loose, and that was coming in bizarre ways. And, you know, you feel like Star Wars sometimes with your womb, womb weapon. <laughs> I have a grandson <laughs> standing in the middle of the living room and just swinging as we fight not against flesh and blood, okay? We know that. That's a spiritual warfare, but you understand what I'm saying. So, as I'm saying this, and it's coming in the in the strangest places, all right? And, wow, I mean, it knocked me for a loop. I'm sorry, you know? Seven strokes, seven blood clots. 
I mean, what can I say? I am alive for a time just like this. I'm dead on paper. I don't handle things right, right away. I'm human. Guess what? And soon, I'm going to have that glorified body. Absolutely wonderful. How great will that be? How amazing it will be. Well, I'm so humble. I'm thankful at the same time. Oh, my goodness. Lay the crown. Anyways, I'm babbling on her now. Okay, so Holy Spirit does just keep on flying in. Okay, so this gets to the story here now. This is really cool. And I know this is for somebody other than me. Because you know what? God is so big. He doesn't do anything just for one person. Everything he does is to glorify him. And everything he does for one person helps another. So <laughs> let's just be an encouragement somewhere for y'all. And or it might answer a question. So as Amir was praying last week, you know, for the seminar, the night before that, um, we had found out that he was having really back, bad back pain and probably went, was not even going to be able to do the seminar. As Stacy and I was praying for him, you know, pretty much all night long, little sleep. <laughs> it was an anointed time, and definitely he was able to make it, of course. And that's my God, a great physician got me through this week. Thank you, Jesus. Not to know what I believe. All right, so as he's, I'm sitting there, and I have a test. Stacy will definitely testify. We're sitting five rows back, and right in front of the speakers, oh, and a feather came flying down right in front of us, and, and him, in front of him as well. It was so big, I can't believe it. And just swooped swish 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 all the way down wow i was so amazed i looked over at stacy and she looked at me and her eyes got really big like did you just see that really that was definitely spiritual warfare over our brother here wow hallelujah praise the lord not all victory and glory to the king okay so we knew that this was a spiritual battle and yes it was great different on saturday when they recorded it that i put it up but it's all right. I got a lot of notes I need to share. I've been dissecting and dissecting. So then, what had happened, you know, during that two weeks before, I was noticing, and of course, I have birds everywhere. We see that. But I'm noticing more feathers. Thinking, oh, really? Do the birds migrate or migrate? Molt. <laughs> migrate. Yeah, they do that too. Um, do they molt this time of year before fall? It's crazy. Well, I don't know. But there was more than usual. Well, then, since I saw the feather and connected it to the warfare, I mean, I could just picture a huge angel <laughs> over a mirror. That's how anointed this thing was. Oof. Um, but that feather falling, I just knew it was like a battle was won. I was just like Jesus on the cross, right? Oh, wow. Anyways, it was amazing. So, I can't tell you what day. It's been a rough week, y'all. I got hit with something. Um, the air quality. I came out here one morning and there was a huge pile of feathers on the ground. I remember it was right around here somewhere. But I'm thinking, wow. I mean, like, there was a lot. Like, a whole bird's worth. And I'm thinking, there's got to be a carcass around here somewhere, right? I'm looking everywhere for one. Couldn't find one. So, didn't think anything of it other than, okay, thinking and relating to, oh, that feather came down in front of a mirror. That was the spiritual warfare. Things that have been happening to me. Hey, I'm trying to process and, and figure all this stuff out, right? Um, connect the dots. What a game. It has been. Absolutely. So, I'm connecting the dots. I'm like, wow, it sure does look like spiritual warfare happened. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So, me back here is my little Garden of Eden, right? Which has turned into like a wild forest, I promise. Nothing but wild forestry <laughs> back here has gotten out of control. Um, hot, cold, who knows? It's just been everything. So as a beautiful week as it was, and I didn't get to see much of it. I don't remember much of it as well. <laughs> I did the automatic things. Okay, so then... Two mornings ago, I came out here, and 
like right here in front of my spot. This is where we sit, right? And this is Doris and Molly's phone. And, um, I got those somehow this week. I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, not much, right? A lot. Who knows? Not much. I'm sitting here and I notice first thing in the morning two huge piles of feathers. I'm sitting here going, how can this possibly be? And I literally raked them up. And I wish I had taken a picture, first of all. But they were, and you can see, there's still some feathers here. But they were little feathers uh, like this that were, like, all over the place here, okay? You can see that. And I'm thinking angel feathers, but I know I got birds, so I can't um, proclaim the two, that's for sure. And I did rake this up, so there was two huge piles of feathers that were right here of all things and there's no tree right above me to the right of it yes so trying to process out this and trying to figure out a normal going through automatic mode knowing where the coffee is and the creamer thank you jesus and the food and uh, the dog food and uh, all the loving i got from them this week and prayers thank you <laughs> from my sister absolutely hard to ask for myself right and I should, but I had so much to share and I was really trying to digest everything that I was eating that whole weekend last weekend. Wow, so I do have a lot to share about that. And as far as tonight's life is concerned, I don't know, really, honestly, I don't. I'm wearing down right now. I feel like this is the first day I've kind of like been alive. <laughs> I guess I wanna say aware, awake, yes. I'd been awake, um, obviously, um, but feeling better, feeling stronger. A 30-minute nap can just change a whole lot. Don't know. I'm going to leave it to the Lord. Huh. And trust Him, okay? And believe on Him. And believe He's coming. Because you know what? He is. And there's absolutely nothing that's going to stop Him when it happens. There, you have to be on the ready. It's not like time to get ready. It's We should be ready by now. We are the fig tree generation. We know we're in the season. What more do we need, really? Seriously? All right. I don't know. Encouragement. Definitely. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Encouraging one another. Loving one another. We know each other by our fruit. We're fruity. Absolutely. I've got so many butterflies and bees and... All kinds of really cool things around here, though. I um, just wish I could remember them, and I never seem to have a camera when there was a photo opportunity for anything. <laughs> so, saying that, uh, I just have for prayer of myself, and goodness, doors looks all red-eyed again, and Molly, and Maddie, and even the dogs are done with all this. So, just trying to stay whatever 65 this morning and in the 90s now okay so this is everywhere around the world i know it's crazy <laughs> it is it's the new norm there never will be a normal again but in king jesus oh yeah it's gonna be the way it's supposed to be imagine that i can only imagine how about you as i say just keep looking up is this is debbie from Texas saying, peace out, Maranatha, the king surely is coming. <laughs>